Stay back! Huh? that primal beast. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is he's the reason Lyria's here in the first place. Crap, crap, crap. Volcano's getting ready to blow. Oh no! The ground is sinking into the magma! Can't do anything about it! Just run for your lives! Don't look back! broken, we'll lose everything. We need to stop it from crashing around. We'll kill you when it's your turn, Burn. Here goes. You have my... Work together, and we'll make it through. Since you're fighting it, I'm going to assume it wasn't acting on the first order. This has nothing to do with you, you little punk. If anything happens to her... Think it's going? I'll hunt you down. Uh, we were so close. Come on, we have to chase it again. Uh, this volcano isn't gonna blow anytime soon, right? That primal looks quite similar to Bahamut. Is that why it was able to imprison Lyria? Why is it taking a dip in the magma? Oh, the yikes! It's a magma wave. Get swallowed by that, and it'll leave more than a nasty burn. Get to the cover of that outcropping. It's our only chance. Now's our chance to close the gap. Uh, he, he cut the wave in half? Don't know whether to be grateful or terrified. Both, I guess. Why is he going that far? Could he really be trying to save Lyria? I mean, even if he does, he'll just take her away again, and we're back to square one. My thoughts exactly. Can't let him do that. It looks like they've come to an impasse. Now we can join the fight. Another wave is coming!
You can run, but you can't hide. Not why we're on the hunt. Hold on, Lyria. Why are you here? Do you even care about her? I already told you it has nothing to do with you. I have. Oh, no! Read from above! Now we're ready! You have my blade! Help is on the way! Keep it up! Where's this light coming from? It's... Lyria. I believe go. it's some kind of natural defense mechanism. What do we do now? Our attacks are getting through at all! That's the primeval god of dread for you. There's no control in it. I see what happened now. Avia brought Lyria to the altar and awakened the primal beast. But, as a manifestation of dread, it turned right around and did what you feared most. It abducted Lyria. Is that the gist of it? <laughs> we might not be able to get through to the giant snake, but I need someone to can. Of course, the catalyst. We'll create an opening so you can wake Lyria. Yeah. What do you think? How's that feel? Rain of arrows! Back in the game! <laughs> Get ready, Vern. Wait for us to attack all at once. We will pass the torch. I'm always ready. Just give me the signal. Now, Vern! Here goes nothing! Come on, Lyria! Wake up! Smash through the wall like it was nothing. Looks like another chase is afoot. It's running scared because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. You know it. I'm going to give Lyria the wake up call of her life. <laughs> Neat. of their plan. But as long as she's trapped inside that crystal, both we and the church are in fact. Does that sound about right? Yeah. And let's face it. If you want to take down this god, you'll need my help. All right. We'll work with you for as long as our goals align. I still don't like the idea of being up with this loser. Beggar can't be choosers. Stop dropping rope! Glow again. Means our attack won't get through. Let's do what we did before. After we create an opening, you use the catalyst. Good. I'll be ready.
him down! <laughs> now, Vern! Can you hear us, Lyria? Come back!
believe we're still breathing after that. Might not be as lucky as that. The barrier has regenerated. Everyone, you know the drill. Too this much. is shot the Just give the word. The life link with Lyria. Their fates are connected. Their lives are linked. You're injured. 
lantern! Don't hold back! Now we're ready! Eat this! How is she? <sighs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Where did you come from? Huh? You can't do that! Give her back to us! It... Right. <laughs> oh, what a pity. Grief and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets, flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not, and trust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle, embrace it. Now then, come, let us end! leader to come greet us herself. Saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not looking for a fight. I've come to extol the virtue of salvation. How's this? Why don't you scrap the magic tricks and give us a fair fight? She's brimming with power. I'm afraid to even get close to her. The ordeals of our pilgrimage are nearly at an end. Your crew is largely to thank for that. Acknowledge my vision, and salvation shall come. Isn't it obvious that I am shepherding all to a transcendent future? We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. As Skybearers, we put our faith in a free sky. Very well. The time has come to pen a new chapter in this saga. Not yet. 
This has been a long journey, but a fruitful one. Open the gate and back in the light of paradise. Stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be. Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? You dare defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself the miracle of my salvation. Ah! Huh? That's dirty! Give it back! Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although, I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. She knows how to make a strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in timeout! There is still hope left. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. The time to reveal the truth has come. Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but... She plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the Primal Beast of Gateways. Allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter. So in theory, one could even pass through to the Astral Realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. 
Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the astral realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zega Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. The astrals, the invaders who once ruled over our skies. 